Hey, so today I'll be showing you how to set up the DrySyn spiral evaporator. It works with all of our existing DrySyn reaction bile inserts. And to begin with, all you need to do is choose the right size plug for your vial. There are four different sizes of plugs for the spiral evaporator, as can be seen here. And to choose the right plug, take your vial, and obviously that's too small. Here we can see that there's no tight fit. You don't need a tight fit because the um, vial won't be under a vacuum as such, but just airflow, and that's perfect. As we can see, it's a four position unit here, and once you've picked your vial size, and the plug size for your vial, you just push it in like that, and then there's a screw here where you can adjust the height. And you just take it over to your sample, sit it on top, and then pop it down and tighten it up. So at this stage, everything's good and ready to go. All we need to do is apply some uh, vacuum to get some air flowing through the sample. So to apply some vacuum to the sample, all we need to do is attach your vacuum line to the top of the spiral evaporator and turn on the vacuum. And there we have it. When you're finished, just turn the vacuum off, lift up the plug, and your sample is dry.